Hi guys, we're back at the studio in Reading. We've got three days to finish this now. Let's go and have a look and see what we've got left to do. First of all, we've got this fine specimen and legend trying to sort out the roller dingo for the roof. What are you doing with that? I'm trying to get it off because it's not allowed <laughs> to go all sticky yucky on me. <laughs> Let's go and have a quick look. So we've got a bit of a path down. We haven't done this, the client has. Let's have a little look. We've got quite a few things to do today. Just get inside the room. So last time we plastered this and boarded it in 12 hours or just under 12 hours. We're gonna get this sprayed up, get all the back boxes on, window in, all the floor, all the finishing bits, all the electrics. Uh, main thing today is gonna to be doing stuff on the outside. So we've got the cladding going on tomorrow on this side and the two sides, on the front and the two sides, gonna have cladding on. Got the rubber roof to bond on. Uh, we've got a few bits to do around the back. So, once we've bonded the roof on, we've got to get our plasters all coated sheet metal cladding on the back. We've got to do a couple of vent holes for the vents, and then we'll tie the rubber roof round, and then obviously get our guttering on, and then a sort of fan on that side for the uh, the out the, the air coming out of that side. It's going to have aircon on this side as well which is gonna be around here somewhere. So that's getting done next week. Uh, yeah, so we got a few bits to do to begin with, and we're gonna try and sort of get the roof bonded on whilst it's dry. And uh, we'll keep you updated as we go. <laughs> We've got a tree problem. <laughs> All the little creatures living on the branches. Microorganisms. <laughs> Do you want to just brush it down? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna bond the roof on next. We've actually just, what we normally do is we leave the roof uh, just to sort of settle for, well, a couple of weeks, or in this case, being like a month or so, um, just so it gets a bit of sun on it and it sort of flattens off naturally. And then obviously what we're gonna do is use the, uh, the water-based adhesive, which is this one which is the WBA roof deck adhesive from Classic Bond. Uh, so we'll literally just roll this back halfway to about here, obviously roll the, the adhesive on and then roll it back out and flat it off with the brush, which works pretty well. But yeah, it's looking pretty flat already. And we seem to have picked quite a decent day for it. Thanks. Shall we? Last word. <laughs> Don't mention the stuff that comes. It's not gonna rain. Uh, looks Last pretty. Day for flying. Yeah. Right. Shall we? Let's. Okay, that's rolled back. It's about halfway, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So onto the substrate, we're going to put the decking bond all the way around with this implement. What should you call me? <laughs> yeah, get this on now. You're gonna do the spread in PJ? Are you? Okay. We'll give that a sweep down now. It's getting a bit windy. Okay guys, so we're gonna get this uh, corner of the rubber roof trimmed out. Um, obviously we just want to make this look as neat as possible. It's going to be behind the climbing anyway, or climbing's going to go up to it. There's going to be a roofing button here, and then on the, on the back is going to be the metal climbing. So it's just kind of trying to make this look as good as possible. And I couldn't exactly explain how to do this, but I'll just do it as I normally do. Uh, so obviously we're going to use a knife with a decent blade on it. What I'll do is I'll just turn that around so it's a bit sharper because I've just used it. And we need the staple gun. So first thing I'm going to do is just take a bit of the bulk off. So I'll come down this corner, just get a sort of incision there. And it looks like something out of Harry Potter. What are those things all in Harry Potter? Death Eaters. No, the ones that fly in the sky, you know. Oh, the... um... oh, I can't remember. Owls. <laughs> Owls? <laughs> okay, so... Let me that's... just move the shrubbery. <laughs> yeah, go on. That's the corner of the building there, so... Just gonna put that up to there, nice and tight. 
okay. Try and get a couple of staples in, come back up. Obviously, as we were saying before, well, PJ was mentioning the um, M12 Milwaukee staple gun, absolutely fantastic. Obviously, it's electric, so straight in, gives you a staple if you keep your finger on it. Also, gives you multiple. Uh, but it's a, it's really, you know, the ergonomics of actually pressing a staple gun is pretty hard. It's hard work when you do it all the time. So that's well worth the investment. And it's only 12 volt. Right, so we'll make a little cut here. So what I'm going to do is going to come up here, try and make this as neat as possible. Like that. I'll come this way. Okay, so just lose a little bit more. And then what I could do is just come down, as, as you were saying before, it's a bit like a sort of relief cut, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just to get that round there. Like doing a vinyl floor. Okay, <coughs> and then what I need to do is just come round with this piece. There's probably an easy way of doing this. If there's anything, any other way, or anyone's got a video on how to do this, better then obviously give us a shout in the comments so let's take a little bit more of this off if i just come to here it's just about losing a bit of the bulk okay so just putting a there like that and then if we come back round well, i've got quite a bit of extra there so just take a bit of that off Gotta be careful you don't cut your finger off. Is that the sound of somebody who's cut their finger off? <laughs> it sounds like background. it. Let's hope we've not Some done it on any of our tools. <laughs> yeah. You have to sometimes be careful you don't drop a knife on your head. Or <laughs> I know. Wonder how we know that. Yes. Allegedly. Health and safety, isn't it, PJ? Yeah, health and safety. Okay, so that's a pretty good corner there. Obviously, this is going to be hidden anyway. Obviously, you'll have a baton on here and you've got your cladding there. So let's just trim that corner. It's kind of made it nice and neat. I'm happy with that. We're just uh, getting the sheet cladding on the back. <laughs> PJ's trapped. I think he needs a doctor. A doctor? A doctor. <laughs> a doctor to get him out. Well, a gynecologist. <laughs> um, yeah, so we... we we're obviously coming right up to this point here where the batten, so you'll meet with the timber cladding and then it'll obviously be a corner piece. We've had to cut out for the uh, the vent. That's obviously the wire as well. So there'll be a, a fan on here with a, um, a box, waterproof box. And then we'll have a gutter on here and a, like a, a sort of gutter trim on the back. So we've got how many more to do, PJ? Four. <laughs> yeah. So we got like what we we have to really start on a cut, obviously, because the way these start is on one of these kind of bumpy out bits or whatever you call it. Yeah, a profile. <laughs> a profile. An extruded profile. <laughs> That's it. it. Starts on a profile. Um, so obviously we we've we have like usually a half piece kicking around the workshop. So we've started on a half or a third or whatever a quarter, um, and then by the end of it, we sh hopefully will end up on a flat piece. And then obviously, corner trim. You, you, the corner trims will hide where that joins. But yeah, that's kind of getting there. You can see that detail did on the roof there. So we're just, we're gonna, we, it's a bit tight. We're going to take, I think we're going to bring them in from the other side because it's a little bit too tight here. So we'll just set the camera up here so we can just capture this. <laughs> So that's all the cladding on the back guys. I've uh, just got to get the fan on here. We'll do that now. Um, and then there's a vent to go on the other side. Got to work out how we're going to finish that. But yeah, that's all on now. So we're all taking shape, but we're going to be running out of light soon. But maybe we'll try and get the gutter in and we'll see. Might be able to do that. Let's see what we can do. You all right, PJ? Hi. Just back here this morning. Um, 
we got quite a lot of the outer stuff done yesterday. Um, we've got some cladding arriving this morning. Well, actually, about lunchtime, Jacob's coming from the northwest with the cladding, so that's going to go on the front and the sides. She's got a little bit of detail to do on the rubber roof. Uh, round the back, just have a quick look. We've got all the metal sheet cladding on, got the guttering on. So we're going down to there. Inside there's the fan that sucks the air out of the room. Uh, so that's on a fan isolated switch. So I think this morning we're going to start with the internal floor. So the subfloor of the building. So we're going to get all this cleared out. Uh, what we're going to do is put, like, give us a good clean out, put a damp proof membrane down. Then we've got these uh, three by two timbers, which have got rubber underneath. I can, can't really show that, but they've got rubber here, every sort of 40 centimeters. Uh, so, and then we'll, what we'll do is insulate in between those and obviously put our boards on top. Uh, so yeah, then we can start kind of working on the walls and some of the other internal bits. So yeah, all take a shape. Uh, we shall get set up and then bring you guys back. So we've got the damp proof membrane down and we've just mopped up the flooring supports, uh, which have got 10 mil rubber underneath. These rubber blocks, every 400 mil. Uh, we've just roughed them into place. So what we're gonna do is uh, we pre-made these in a workshop. They just need screwing together, so we've got these extra pieces. And what we're gonna do is cut some rock wool, 50 mil to go in between. So we'll basically uh, have rock wool in between all these cavities. And then we've got an 18 mil board over the top and that'll give us our subfloor. So we're gonna build that up now, um, get these screwed in, get the rock wool done and then start getting the boards across. So just to mention the rock wool is in 120 by 60 panels or bats as they call them. Um, so what we're going to actually do is we're going to do 40 spacings on these uh, timbers. So basically if we cut down a 120 piece into three sections, we'll roughly get just under 40 centimeters per, uh, per run. So we can, we'll cut those down. So it'll be 40 by 60. And obviously we can get the spacings in between these timbers. So once PJ's finished doing that. <laughs> when you finish doing that. <laughs> we shall start cutting, start cutting the roll. Hi guys, big shout out to our official sponsor, soundshirts.com. Check them out for all your music inspired hoodies and t-shirts. discount code SPE10. Check out the link in the description below. So we just laid the panels out roughly around the room. Already sounds quite a bit different. You can probably hear it in my voice. Oh. <laughs> You're some sound briefing expert. <laughs> okay, so we've just um, worked out where the panels are gonna go. So we got one corner base strap, two corner base straps, the third one over there. We've got two portrait panels here. 
Um, we have got one portrait panel there. Aircon's going here and then some bookcases and stuff. We've got one panel under the window, which is landscape. One panel portrait there. And then we're going to have one panel on the ceiling and then two on this side because there's going to be a desk there with monitor speakers. So that kind of helpful for that. That gets uh, all the eight panels used and the three corner base traps. So we're just um, pre-drilling these now and then putting a plug in. So when we when we kind of spray everything, we can then later on come and just put the panel up and it's already set up without marking the walls. Just got to put some more brackets for the ceiling. So with the wall, uh, we just have a bracket top and bottom. But when we put them on the ceiling, we're going to put another bracket either side. So it's got four brackets per panel. So one of the things we got to do is, uh, because of the profile of uh, the cladding, Obviously, we, if it's flat on the on the cladding, then we normally just put the vent straight on the outside. But because we've got a bit of a join here, um, we're going to have to make a bit of a profile to go around this. So I'm just uh, seeing how PJ's getting on with that. Let's go and talk to him, shall we? Can you show us your thing, PJ? What? You want me what, to show you? me a little art project? Have you checked the size of the vent? I'm going to do it in a minute. <laughs> Let me do it in the order I'm doing it in. What's this or less? Well, it's part yeah, of it. Shows it shows how it works. All people on the internet are stealing me. This is, the, anyway, I've cut the profile out of these two bits. Well, that's Tricoya, isn't it? Yeah, that's Tricoya. I put it underground for 57 years and, <laughs> and um, <laughs> slugs won't go on it. It's um, good, that, isn't it? Chris has his lunch boxes made out of this. Um, right, so you got T and that, B, um, and top, top and bottom. Top and bottom, yeah. And I'm, um, Is the van going to fit I'm, that? <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. All right, we'll come back when I you're a bit I've pre-drilled it. Good. Because I don't want to burst it. Well done. Right. <laughs> well done. We'll come back. <laughs> Okay, look at that lovely cladding. <laughs> uh, he put it on over there, that guy. Uh, cladding's looking great. So that's, <laughs> cladding's on. Just got the corner trims to go on. We've got the outside light, which is PJ's just put on. We've got the door frame in, roughly. Uh, we've got the, just put this window frame in. Um, and then inside, it's all being sprayed up, so that's just drying off now. It's very white. Got the interior window, which we put in temporarily so we can get the position of the exterior window. It's just letting all this dry off now. But yeah, it's all taking shape. Shall we see what PJ's doing with the door? <laughs> Hello. What are you doing? I've got some hinges on. Wow, these are big hinges. They are big hinges. Roller Good bearings. Rate. Nice and smooth and stiff. Rated for 150 kilograms, I think. Well, yes. it should carry me then. <laughs> Let's do an unboxing. Oh. Ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, you put five hinges on so far. Yes. On two doors. Yes. Three on each door. Three on each door. One to go. Should we let go and put the hinge on? Let's okay. see how. Firstly, I'd like to show the quality of the hinge, how thick the place is. 
roller bearing it's very very, uh, very smooth. well engineered and smooth point to note is that we ensure that the the hinge that's going on the frame has three lugs yeah that's therefore encapsulating any torque that the door may put on the hinge. <laughs> <laughs> sounds right right yeah mm. okay so resist any twisting or dropping so we we sort of pre these these are done they need painting again obviously but we've sort of pre chiseled out the or routed out the rebate for the mm -hmm. for that to sit in so yeah and we've also got pre-drilled holes so one two three four just it's quite so, simple really yeah so it's, it's already been lined up so beautiful you can see the hole there ready put that in and it's not going to wander around or quite big screws these yeah well. the nice chunky screws i like to have the um use the drill for this set on a torque setting rather than impact driver so there's no inclination to strip out the wood and weaken yeah. the join yeah, yeah. there we go that's beautiful and because we already prepared that lined it up it's not perfect. gonna go skew with it's perfect sort of uh, rebate and finish that isn't it mm-hmm Straight in, no messing, hmm. no mucking about. Job done. Yeah. So we're going to hang those in a minute, or at least one of them, the outer door. Yes. That's a good job. Good job. <laughs> Okay, we're back this morning, guys. This is the uh, finishing day, so got a few bits to do. All the paint work has gone off now, so that's uh, looking nice and fresh. Uh, got the inner studio window to go in. We got the outer window in yesterday, so we need to clean all that area up, get that in. That's pre-assembled, so that should pretty much just slot in. Uh, we've marked all the holes where, and actually put plugs in where all the acoustic panels are going. So they're all sort of pre-drilled so we don't damage any of the paintwork. We've got back boxes going on. We've got electrics to do, flooring to get in, inner door, all the trims. So quite a bit of stuff. Outside's pretty much done. Let's have a quick look, just apart from a couple of trims here and there. This is finished in satin dark oak. And we've got anthracite metal cladding on the back. Yeah, so plenty to do. So we'll uh, crack on and uh, see how we get on. have a quick update of where we're up to uh, so we got a few more bits done inside including the electrics uh, we've done a lunch break now so got the lights in all the sockets uh, we've got the quinetic light switch here which is controlled with this so that's basically the outside light that works really well got the main light switch there and then obviously we've got the fan, which is sucking air out of the room. We've got a couple of grills to go on. So one on here, one on the other side. We've got Arky to go around the window, all the glasses in there. That's all done. Got the acoustic panels in, obviously it sounds a lot more focused in here now. We've got the ceiling panels on, which are 
they've got some special fixings so they're nice and solid and we've got four fixings in each of those so we're just having a bit of lunch um, on this wall I think there's gonna be some mirrors that the clients putting on for uh, teaching and doing sort of um, looking at technique and stuff and then there's gonna be an aircon unit here and maybe a bookcase so a few things to do we got the uh, underlay to get in next and then the carpet in a door frame and the door and then all the R key skirting boards and all the trim so we'll try and shut the camera on and catch some of this as we go but uh, it's all getting there Well, let's see your technique. Three, two, one. Bloody hell! What? You missed it, not even going in. I didn't go in. Look! Hey, Jay. Oh, hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Look! Janet Street Porter. <laughs> didn't go in. Yeah, yeah it did. Got, look. You, you've got to actually go in. It's in. It wasn't. I just said go. You made the, you made the priority <laughs> speed. I didn't. I, that was always good, not it? Look how quick you can do it. <laughs> well that's the carpet nearly in uh, PJ's, PJ's outside doing fixing the mega <laughs> I forgot what he was doing I thought you were PJ PJ's that's not PJ that's My PJ phone, it's nothing like <laughs> PJ's, PJ's outside doing the mega tester it's uh, needed resoldering this is a bit of a problem with it we're nearly down with the carpet so what have we got skirting board touch ups seals on the door but essentially it's starting to really come together yeah sounds pretty good in here as well some grills to go on there you taking the glory yes i love the glory oh, look at that beautiful Okay guys, thought we'd get a quick video just before it gets dark. We've literally just finished. We've been working so hard over the last three days, haven't we, PJ? Oh, wow. <laughs> We've really put the hours in. We've got Jacob in there at the moment doing some touch-ups. Uh, you can see through the window. It's kind of a bit of a weird view from here. Obviously got the landscape window there. We've got the double door configuration. We've got quinetic light above the door. Um, this is a red wood cladding with a dark oak stain on, which is satin oak. Uh, we've got the corner trims. We have got a access point there for the aircon, like an isolated switch, 16 amp. So the aircon's gonna sort of live down here somewhere, which is gonna be fitted next week. Round the back, obviously we've got a full guttering system. We've got our passive vent here, active vent on the other side with the fan in. We've got metal plastisol coated cladding on the back. We've got our guttering in there and a drip strip. So that's all good. Let's just have a little look again around the front. Let's see if we can get inside. So lots to tidy up. <laughs> We've also got the doors are still drying. So I'll just take my shoes off. So let's have a look. So we've got it's a double door configuration. Our custom seals which we make here hello Ooh. here he is <laughs> so look inside jacob's just doing some touch-ups on the white oh we got a bit of skirting board to fit there forgot about that wow this is looking bright <laughs> so we're gonna have aircon there i think there's gonna be a bookcase here this back wall is gonna be reserved for mirrors on this back wall here there's gonna be a couple of kits for teaching um 
We've got obviously acoustic panels. We've got two on the ceiling there. This is Cara fabric in the black, which is um, which is nice. Yeah, so that's all come together. So bar that little bit of skirting board, which we're going to put on now, I think we're pretty much done, aren't we, Jacob? I don't want to go to school on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Carpet on this one as well, so it's kind of like quite cozy. Always feels a bit more like part of your house, but you can have wood floor as well, I guess, um, depending on what, what your requirements are. Um, so we shall pack up, and then once the, the room's all set up, the, I'm sure the client will send us some pictures, videos that we can put on. We might even come back and do a test if they're up for that. Uh, but yeah, that's all looking really plush, really sweet. We spray painted the walls, didn't show that on the video because it's a bit messy, but uh, that has had two coats of uh, the white emulsion. So yeah, pack up and back up north. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next one.